And wouldn't you know, I like my eggs over easy. Well, here's uh, some more good rules for you to avoid getting sick. Prevent cross-contamination in your kitchen by washing your hands. Use separate cutting boards to cut raw meat. And wash your produce not just with water, but with a brush. But wait, there's more. Lisa? Yeah, you want to make sure you aren't eating food that's gone bad either. But every year, Americans end up throwing out about 40% of their food, up to $165 billion each year. Now, that's according to a study by the Natural Resources Defense Council. So here to show me some ways to preserve fruit that may be on the better side of ripe is Delmarva Life's Brittany Siegel. Thank you so much. I like that. Yeah. Better side of yes, ripe. Yes, because, you know, they're not necessarily bad yet, but they do have bruises. Uh -huh. So I brought a couple examples here of some fruit that typically tend to get a little brown or a little mushy before mm -hmm. you tend to eat it. I think we're all guilty of it. Yep. We go to the grocery store, we buy a whole bunch of fruit, and then we end up not eating it and throwing <laughs> it out. Yeah. So I know I do. So yep. um, here's just a couple examples. We've got bananas, strawberries, a mango, an apple, um, some grapes. We've got even a little clementine in there. Uh -huh. So let's go over just a couple things that you can do with this fruit so okay. that we can prolong its lifespan. So first, I know you like smoothies. I do. You've shown us how to make your favorite one on the show. So um, you can actually take the fruit and you can use it for a smoothie. Mangoes are great. Um, avocados, you can even cut them up, put them in your freezer and do that. Um, also, the mangoes and things, you can actually put it in a saucepan, simmer it with some sugar, yeah. melt it down, and you can make a juice. You can add, um, or a soda type thing, you uh -huh. add soda water to it. Oh, so I've that's never one heard of that. thing that you Mango can do. Mango soda. Yes. Who knew? I know. And another, um, you can make a jam or a uh -huh. jelly. So our strawberries would be good, or even grapes. And they have really easy recipes that you can just throw them in a crock pot, and, uh -huh. like fix it and forget it, and then you have jelly. And uh -huh. that lasts in the fridge for about two months in the freezer for a year or so. Where'd you get all these ideas? Um, actually, I got them from Women's Health, okay. some ideas, or in Pinterest a little uh -huh. bit of a mix, but um, things that I, you know, thought, hey, I've got these strawberries, I need to use them. Okay, so are we going to actually yes, do something here? Yes, we're going to make one here. We okay. are going to make strawberry ice cream pops. Ooh. So I saved the best one for last. Okay. Um, you can also make a crumble. Of, I'll, I'll share some recipes online later for those, but okay, so go ahead and take those strawberries. Uh -huh. I've washed them, and I also want to let everyone at home know that Lisa did wash her I hands did. <laughs> during the commercial break. So okay. go ahead, and um, you can start cutting those. Cut them really fine, because we're going to be blending them in okay. with some ice cream. All right. So, so while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and take some ice cream. I've let it sit out for about five minutes to soften. Uh -huh. um, and we're going to just put it in your KitchenAid mixer or whichever mixer you have. You can just right. throw it in there. Um, so it's nice and soft, as you can see. It goes right in there like butter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're just going to mix it up for about 10 or 15 seconds with those strawberries so that they get nice and blended throughout. Mm. And then we're going to make popsicles Ooh. with them. So. so these are, your kids will love these. Yes. So once you freeze these, so you end up blending it together. You can use strawberries. I've even put chocolate sauce in with them, mm -hmm. or you can use bananas. Um, you can just put them in the freezer, kind of flash freeze them for a little bit before uh -huh. you blend them. And then once you put it in your little popsicle mold, you can keep them in your freezer for um, you know, months actually, so yeah. it stays longer, and you've got fresh fruit in your ice cream. So okay, so how many? I got some here. Is this enough? So that's you good. Think? You can go ahead and toss them in here. Okay. And get this ice cream out of our way. I'm gonna put this in. Go ahead and the blender in. here. All right. It smells good. Mm -hmm. I love ripe strawberries. Me I mean, they now may not be the prettiest strawberries, but I think they taste right. better. So Same once they're all bananas. blended in with ice cream, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. So if you look in there, you can just see they're blending in. The ice cream's turning a nice little pink mm -hmm. color. Um, this is just, you can blend it by hand, but why yeah. bother when you have, <laughs> you know, technology here? Yeah. So once we've done that, I'll go ahead and take this out. Need me to look take that for you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Maybe one of the little pups. No, just kidding. I'd we'll like to do that. So if you go ahead and take this, you can start scooping. Okay. Use your muscles here, Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a cardio girl. You got the muscles. Okay. So um, if you take a spoon, I have one over there for you. Okay. You can just go just ahead spoon and start it in there? scooping them in. I've made some just so you can see. <gasps> Oops. Yeah. You can see what they look like. They're very beautiful with those strawberries mixed in. Now, is this going to expand a little bit? So you, it will. And yeah. also, you kind of tap it on the countertop to let the ice cream settle right. in. Right. You don't want the bubbles in there. Right. OK. So once that you kind is so of, simple. Mm -hmm, once you do that, and you can use the bigger ice cream molds, too. So if you you don't want this little bite-sized popsicle, you can get um, a big one and use popsicle sticks for that. But you freeze them, and right before you um, take them out, you just go ahead and run it under some warm water. It helps loosen it up, so it'll pop right out. Okay, so you and said you just, just kind of tap it? Yep. 
Okay. You have your little handy dandy. Oh, these are here. neat. Yes. I imagine that you probably should wipe off this mess yeah. that I've made here. You maybe you want, you know, if you're entertaining, if you just plan on sitting down with the whole, uh, you know, eight pack and just watching a movie, then go for it. Okay, there's not one in there, but I'm gonna put that <laughs> yeah, on there so anyway. So that's just okay. how simple it is. You just that put it in the simple. freezer and, and pretty much overnight makes it so it's nice and you know, frozen. Okay. So um, you can also, and same thing I said with smoothies, if you chop up your bananas or mm -hmm. you can put them in the ice cream, you can put them in smoothies. But so um, since we don't have our popsicles ready just yet, you know what we're going to do? We're going to eat ice cream? We're going to eat ice cream. I was stuff. hoping you would say that, Brittany. So Hi. when you have some leftover, you can just go ahead and enjoy those nice, yeah. nice strawberries. And unfortunately, I don't think there's enough no. for Jimmy. No. Oh, darn. Unless he wants the, the whole bowl here. I got one for him. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. Now, if you want some of the recipes to try on your own, all you need to do is go to delmarvalife.com. Mm -hmm. 